Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we arrived in Berea Heart. Um, we got to know um, Rufus Alberea. He um, escorted us to Hotel Esmeralda, and we're staying here. We've got a couple of tasks for this uh, field study. We are to get a stone for someone's ring. We are to collect some... Uh, uh, someone ran out of some, like, bath salts or something stupid like that. And we're supposed to take care of a monster, which is cool. Very diverse. So, two fetch quests and killing stuff. Nice. That's what I call diversity. Let's enter the cathedral and start talking to everybody. Many cardinals have um, have come from this ca ca cathedral, haven't they? It truly is befitting to regard it as one of the uh, uh, one of Erebonia's centers of faith. Just be being here fills me with awe. This cathedral truly is as majestic as they say. I feel as though I've entered an entirely different realm. You youngsters there, feast your eyes on that spectacular stained glass with me. Feast my eyes on spectacular stained glass, he says. It looks like Sunday school a little bit. Tatiana. The remains of Saint Veronica are stored here in this cathedral. It, it said that long ago her prayers brought forth a miracle that saved this city from a time of great tragedy. We may be powerless, but we should all strive to be like her. Saint Veronica sleeps within this cathedral to this day. Please offer your prayers to her. Nothing to, uh, to experience in here. Just letting the atmosphere sink in. Nice. That back, though. Ro Rogar. Oh, Ideos, please grant us our, your guidance. Show us the path that we nobles who, who wish to guide the people with pride must take. Oh, Ideos, please grant us. Welcome to Breahard Cathedral. This is the center of the Zeptian Church here in the Kreuzen province. We have mass scheduled to p take place today too. Perhaps you would like to take part in it? Welcome to Brayhart Cathedral. This cathedral is open to all who seek the teachings of Ideos. Youngsters, feel free to offer your prayers should you ever fe face troubling times. May Ideos be with you all. May Ideos be with you, youngsters. Archbishop, huh? Let's enter the central plaza. Lord Rufus Alborea seems like he's been very busy lately. <clears throat> he's in charge of this province and even takes care of some of his father's official duties at his re as his representative. While I'm proud to see him do such excellent work, I rarely get the chance to see him at parties anymore. Lord Rufus now takes care of a handful of his father's official duties in his place. While I'm proud to see him do such excellent work, I rarely get to see, uh, get, to, uh, get the chance to see him at parties anymore. Not such a partying lying. Who's this a statue of? It seems to be a statue of Saint Veronica. Oh, you know of her? Elaborate, guys! I don't know of Saint Veronica. Fine. We know. My daddy has a car. It's so cool. It goes and beep 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 and everything. Boom! Stray! Wait, that was a falcon. Hmm, he's very excited. It's understandable, though, I haven't had much of an opportunity to spend time with him lately. Fortunately, I found some time to do so now. Hey, he's very excited. It's understandable. Hmm. 
Wow, this town is incredible. It's like it popped right out of a fairy tale. So the cathedral's over there and Artisan's Street is over here. There's so much to see. Wow, this town is incredible. This seems to be the central plaza. Goodness, the city truly is a beauty. Much more so than I ever could have imagined. Sorcier. I can't give anyone a German accent in here. This restaurant's pretty big. <laughs> I feel like we're a little out of place here. And yet this place is co in comparison to the restaurants dedicated to nobles I used to come here. F then this is a restaurant dedicated to nobles. I used to come here frequently before I started attending the academy. Huh, it must be good if you're a regular. It just, g it must be a gathering place for ha haughty nobles too then. Haf hefty, hefty, I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to wait outside for us if you wish. I'll have to give my regards to the owner as well. What? Was that a slight smile I saw there? Greetings and welcome, Lord Juzis. We re just received some fresh ingredients this morning. Might you be interested in trying out our seasonal menu? Greetings and welcome. Let's uh, disturb all these people while eating, shall we? Please don't start giving history lessons while we're here on vacation, darling. Surely there are better ways for us to enjoy ourselves. Please don't give us no. This is as delicious as ever. It's said that this soup was first made in the Middle Ages. In fact, Emperor Dreykels himself was known to enjoy it. Of course, that's but one of many theories. Others th say that he was the first, that it was first made by the court chef after his death. He's enjoying a good beer. Last month's grand market over at Celtic ended up being more stressful than anyone could have expected. You're Beric! What? Never mind that, boys. Fortunately, they managed to catch the culprit. Everything went more or less back to normal after that. Anyway, I need to focus on making sure my next transaction goes well. These tax increases sure are making it, uh, it real hard to deal in jewelry, though. I have plans to make a new transaction today, so I'll, I'll have to gather some info first. George, th this is a really expensive looking place. I'm a bit scared for my wallet. Th this is delicious. Can we really afford this though? He said he would treat me, but I'm kind of worried. Yeah, it's, uh, I am worried. Yeah, I'm worried too. Welcome to Zorcia, allow me to... Oh, is that Lord Jesus? Oh, I didn't even notice it was you because of your school uniform. Oh, I see... <clears throat> I see you haven't changed much. But of course. I'm still going at it with my cooking studies too, so please feel free to give some of, uh, some of my dishes a try. It's been five years since Haman took me under his wing, and I think he ch he's close to accepting me as a full-fledged chef. He's brutally strict though. I guess that's to be expected from a main known as the Saw's Magician. Jewel Pottage, Cures Freeze. Oh, who can afford that? The answer is me. <clears throat> Creamy Chowder, Cures Freeze as well. Not taking that. Ar aromatic Tea. Luxury's Cup of Tea with a full bodied fragrance. Yep. Yeah. Also, uh, take it. Savory herb tea. Cool. Or savory. Hello, Lord Drusus. It's been a while. One of my assignments at the academy has led me to return here briefly, so I saw it fit to show my face here. Things seem to be going well for you here. I'm glad. I assume you must all be Lord Drusus' classmates then. I'm pleased to see that you've been able to make so many friends at the Academy. They're only classmates, not friends. I look close. 
Yeah, but I don't think they... Uh, I don't think you'd get this close to someone just by frequenting the restaurant, though. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hammond, and I'm the owner and head chef of this restaurant. I intend on continuing to deliver the highest quality food, so I hope you will be able to stop by. Saucier was opened with a desire to provide the highest quality food to all of our customers. And we even have less expensive meals than the working class can afford, so please feel free to order away. Okay, the lower class could afford your stuff. Hmm. Nice, a husky. Excuse me, could we tell, talk to you for a minute? Ah, might those uniforms be from Thor's Military Academy? I assume that you must be the students Lord Rufus mentioned then. Is this... what's this all about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to those students who came along here for some manner of field study, you see? Well, in truth, he asked him my father first, but he's as busy as, he's, as he ever was. So the request was passed on to his heir, and in other words, me. Oh, that sounds rather interesting. Doesn't it? Now, take a guess at what I came up with. Ah, you're such a tease. Might I have some tea, uh, some time to think about it? Uh... So, what exactly was your request? You dare interrupt our conversation? Uh, you commoners truly have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those, of, of, uh, those superior to you to finish their convo- Oh, my. W what's the matter? L Lord Jesus! I had no idea you were here with these commoners! Well, I am. Do, do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Uh, 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 of course not! We, we'll never be so crass! Uh, I could just get used to this. Why couldn't he just stand where they could see him in the first place? Well, what is it you're looking for? Your request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, you see, I'd like to request that you pro procure some pink salt for us. I see, that's a rather difficult request. Uh, fret not, then. I can change the request if you wish. That won't be necessary. The re request is a request. I is that is it that hard to find? That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon to the east to find it. Much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Aurochs Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be an easy journey. Oh, I see. Why are they putting why are they putting salt in the bath though? Putting salt in the bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. Too esoteric for me. I like napping. <laughs> well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yeah, let's get the request from the artisans of the street settled before making our way over there though. Addicted to bath salt started. We shall await your return with a pink salt then. You're welcome to forget about the, our request too, if you wish. Richard. <laughs> um, please take care of yourself. I will. I have every intention to do so. Why was there a triple quest mark here? Ooh. Now I see. Oh, if it isn't Lord Jesus. Baron Hensel. How many months has it been since I last had the pleasure of meeting you? Today happens to be the, mo the most splendid day too, with the warmth of the, the early summer shining down from above. Greetings. It has indeed been a while. Sounds pretty bored. <laughs> he just seems as arrogant as always to me. I, I wasn't aware that you had returned, Lord Roses. You seem to, to be in good health too. Please take care of, take this opportunity to rest as much as you can. I think he's under the impression that he's come back on vacation. Well, that doesn't seem to be too uncommon for upper-class students. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Uh, uh. 
This looks like a nice spot. Time for some first only three. Huh. That's new. Caught one. Anor carp. Seven points for the carp. 30 points for the new catch and non additional. Wind Zepeth. Five. Huh. Another one. Bites the dust, I say. Caught one. Plus two this time. That's the biggest one I've caught. 50 wins epic. Huh. And that's a sore tail. How boring. Not bad. How boring. A little bit of water zepeth there. Okay, cool though. Unfortunate that we can't go into the sewer area yet. Noble Di District? Station Street. Let's go to the Station Street. Hmm. There seems to be an entrance down there. No chest this time. Barrier Heart Airport. We can't enter. Brayhart Station, North Kreutzen Highway, Christie's Gal Galleria, Orox Canyon, Part 1. Brayhart Station. Lord Rufus is extremely popular even among us servants. He's kind, skilled, and even assists with the province's governance. He truly is a wonderful person. Considering how difficult the Duke is to get along with, though, I wouldn't want to work in the, at the Albrea family mansion. Huh. <laughs> Lord Rufus is extremely popular, even among our servants. But the Duke is frightening. Wait, what? Duke Albrea, however, is rather frightening. You would see. Uh, you would need nerves of steel to work at that mansion. Nerves of steel. Viscount Gierig. A fortress belonging to the Kreutzen Provincial Army can be found to the east of Berea Hard. They call it Aurochs Fort, and my word, it is a most magnificent fortress. It's rare for commoners to have the opportunity to behold it. Ezelin. Indeed, I've ordered some fine clothing for the summer. <laughs> I'll have to be sure to keep up with all this year's trends. I don't keep up with all this year's trends. I don't think I've bought any new clothes since, like... Seven months? Eight months? Boy, that's long. Maybe more? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't thrown anything away either, though. Oh, I didn't even read that out. A fortress belonging to Kreutzen's provincial army can be found to the east of Berea Heart. Most commoners don't have the opportunity. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Tourist. Wow, this place is radical! Check it out, partner! Those street lamps are crazy! We're in the middle of touring Erebonia, and man, this place is really pretty. No wonder the tour's guidebook insisted that you come here. We shouldn't take the train until we're done with our field study. Turn around then. Indeed, I've ordered some fine clothing. Men regard May as their hunting season. Oh, I didn't know that. Meanwhile, we ladies regard it as the season of new fashion. Ha 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 ha! Oh, hunting in terms of hunting for animals. I get it now. Men regard May as their hunting season. I never expected to come across Lady Arzell in here. Arzell in here. I will have to do something about this situation, however. They tend to enter their own little world once they begin talking to the point that they can spend the entire day doing so. I'm most certainly pleased to see my lady and Lady Arzellan get along well. However, I must do something about the situation before we spend the entire day here. Nice. 
Nice. Luxury store. Boutique. Shoe shop. Tricolor. Gotcha. Good morning, Lord. Good day, Lord Juices. It's always an honor to have your patronage here. Please take your time and pursue, pursue our, our selection. I truly am proud of the fact that our mere shoe store can be part of Christie's. Please take all your shoe related needs to me. Shoe related needs. Fiber boots. Already got those. Cozy socks. Already got those. Those are worth. Uh, are you here to make an order? Or perhaps you've come to pick up your goods? Oh, my apologies. I assumed that you were here for tailoring. Please, take your time to look around. Oh, I only started working here last month. We only seem to get nobles and their servants here, so I spent most of the work day... Uh, the work day is a nervous wreck. Fiber guard, energy bandana, and cooling belt. Ooh. That could be good on fee. Eh. I'm here to buy goods for the party being hosted at our mansion, Electra. Buying ingredients is a given, but I've also got to make sure the interior of the mansion looks spotless, too. Appear appearances are everything to the nobility, you see. Appearances are everything to no the nobility, and as long as I am a maid, uh, uh, as, and as long as a maid is working at a mansion, make sure, uh, making sure it looks spotless all the time is a maid is maid's duty. I was I was still thinking what my future wife would say if I I told her to to name my uh, name my daughter Electra, she would be giving me a look. You're in an, an electrical or in and uh, you studied electrical engineering and you're gonna name your daughter Electra. We're not having that conversation right now. You can sleep on the sofa for a night. That's about how I would imagine for that to go. Eloise, welcome to Henderson and Co. Can I interest you in this tea, perhaps? It's produced in the Sutherland province and is popular for its elegant fragrance. Welcome to Henderson. Yeah, give me some tea, please, and some whiskey while you're at it. Oh, good day, Lord Juices. It's always such an honor for us to serve the needs of the Alborea family. D did there happen to be an issue with any of the products, perhaps? Mm, ah, I see. This is the store we tend to, uh, to get our furnishings from, isn't it? Worry not. I'm here on personal business today. Uh, understood. If that's the case, then please take your time. That was quite the conversation. Seems like they like to flaunt their influence all over town. In, in, in addition to Berea Hard style furniture, we also sell rare ingredients and various other products. We're confident in the quality of our goods, as the Alborea household itself makes us uh, uh, makes use of our store. If you have any questions about our lineup, please ask my daughter, who also works here. Oh, those are 600. I've been using a lot of those. I only have two remaining. Stimulant feigned. I have seven of those. Relax, and I'm getting low on those. 40, I might buy two more. Battle scope's got enough. Ugh. Crispy onions. Fresh herbs. Mature cheese. You can keep your damn mature cheese. Honey syrup. Healthy liquor. I'm gonna buy three of those. I'm probably gonna need them. Frog strap. EP plus 20, speed plus 2. A strap with a figurine of a frog attached. Part of a set. Part of a set always makes me a little interested in things. Am I gonna get one or am I gonna have to buy it? Part of a set. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know who I'll equip it on. 
Uses, what are you packing? Prevent seal. I have a frog strap. Okay, there you go. Ooh, that was some delay to it. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Are there more shops? Because I'm getting light in terms of Mira again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fortunum, Fortnum. So much. Bookstore? Oh, bookstore. I love bookstores. I love books. This area used to be the st a street entirely dedicated to stores solely for nobles. Back in the day, they would all come along in their carriages, ready to purchase the finest in goods. Now, a set street is gone, and instead, this department store stands in its place, yet the clientele remains the same as ever. This area used to be... Brr, 20 years, wait. This area used to be a street entirely dedicated to stores solely for nobles. I should mention that this bookstore also existed back then, too. We have a long history of 210 years of business. But do you have good books? Cornelia reprints. Mm, sure, I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up for an achievement later on. Saddles, huh? The young lady of the house I serve at has run away from home, you see. She's ever so frail, so I was under the impression that she would have made her way to Berea Hot. No one seems to have seen her here, however. Ah, oh, Lady Annabelle, where could you be? <laughs> a woman named Annabelle lost her wallet in Celtic, didn't she? Oh, Annabelle. Oh, I fear that she's lost her purse somewhere and that friend is fretting over it. Please be safe, Lady Annabelle. <laughs> ah, it doesn't sound like the first time. Baron Opel. Mm, I should have some maintenance done on my hunting gun now that the hunting season is approaching. I could always take the opportunity to buy an entirely new one instead, however. Mm, I should have some maintenance done. Lexington, huh? Brash. Welcome, I assume that you're your Lord Jesus' classmates? We have a wide range of arms and horse tag and stock here, so please feel free to take your time and pursue them. Hmm, I wasn't expecting there to be a horse tag here as well. It's almost like it's a store specifically for ho horseback riding. Indeed, horseback riding and hunting are both still popular here after all. This also happens to be the best store for hunting related tools too. It's an honor to hear those words from Lord Jesus himself. Also, I have a range of arms manufactured by the Rainford Company, should you be interested in those. Ah, yes, a word of warning. Do take care should you come across, should you choose to head to the Orox Canyon Path. The journey to Orox Ford is a long one, and monsters have been appearing on the Canyon Path more frequently of late. I recommend that you, f that you are fully prepared if you want have any intention of going there. Regrets. Regrets are had. Luxuriously designed cap for refined horse riders. 30 extra damage. 40 extra damage. 40 extra damage the year two. 40 extra damage the year two. Fair enough, Karambit. With the links, every bit of damage counts. Every bit of damage counts, doesn't it? Ah, oh, regrets. Should have known. Should have known. All right, that's the store done. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Nice. Oh, the 
doors are locked! Why is this locked? Where does it lead to anyway? <laughs> I was imagining a grate standing there, but there wasn't a grate, so I felt a little bit of relief and then it was locked anyways! Is this the way to the city's airport? Yeah, but it's... It is, though I doubt we'll have any reason to go there. Good day and welcome to Brayhard Airport. Do you have... Do you plan on boarding? If so, I can take your luggage. Ah, sorry, we just... We're just in the middle of sightseeing. I'm amazed they've even got attendance here at the airport, though. Rufus is making his way to Heimdaller on the next flight, isn't he? He might still be in the waiting lounge, then. How about you go and see him? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Why would he wait here when we can take when he can take when he can use his own personal airship to make his way there? Right. I guess it's not that weird for someone from the four great houses to have their own airship. This is why I can't stand nobles. <clears throat> Lord Rufus did happen to leave on his own personal airship just earlier. We attendants made sure to see him off. However, so please, uh, however, so please rest assured of that. Right. In the next episode, we're going to continue exploring this town. We're going to continue exploring the uh, artisans' district. And for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, toodles!